Hi, welcome to another Exostat video tutorial. Today I'd like to show you how to determine if a product is different from another one using a triangle test. An interesting thing to do when designing a new product is to compare it to existing ones and determine whether they are perceived in the same or in a different way by consumers. This is made possible by sensory discrimination tests such as the triangle test. In our example, we wish to commercialize a new beer. We would like to know if consumers will be able to make the difference between the new beverage and another one of its own line of product. To test the hypothesis that both beers are similar, we'll use the triangle test. First, we need to generate the design of the beer tasting experiment. To do so, we organize our data as shown. Then, go to the sensory data analysis menu and open the design of sensory discrimination test interface. We make sure the triangle test is selected and set the number of assessors for our experiment, here 20. We select our data in the user defined box, then click OK. Now, the experiment is ready to be carried out. Three products are presented to each assessor in different orders. Within these products, only two are similar. Assessors have to identify the product that is different from the two others. Once we've run the experiment, we report the results in the design table by filling the assessor's answers. The last column is then automatically filled. We can now analyze these results using the sensory discrimination test interface. We make sure these options are selected, we import our data to the dialog box and click OK to run the analysis and generate its report. The main results we need to interpret are the p-value and the d-prime, which is a measure of the sensory distance between the two products. As we can see, the d-prime is approximately equal to 2.8, which is high, and since the p-value is lower than the significance level alpha that we chose, we can reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the d-prime is significantly greater than zero. These results indicate that there is a large difference between the two beers. We can therefore assume that the new product will be well identified by consumers. In this video, we have seen how to determine whether two products are different or not by performing a triangle test. Other types of discrimination tests can also be used to discriminate products regarding a particular characteristic, so feel free to explore. Thanks for watching.